You guys love each other, huh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's sweet. That will go away. <laughs> you don't have tattoos anywhere? No. Honey, would you put a bumper sticker on a Bentley? <laughs> So I used to date this guy. <clears throat> so I used to date this guy and he's <clears throat> Oh, I don't think I'm ready to talk about that yet. We're six months into the year and I just, it's been such a difficult- It's year. still January. What? You got 11 months left. What? All well, the guys I'm currently talking to, like what the hell, you know? And he was like, well, why didn't you text me first? I don't know, because I'm the woman. I know it sounds horrible. This is why I'm single. And this is why I have a puppet on my hand. You want to know what the worst part about being a single mom is? Is you get robbed of a certain motherhood experience. It just doesn't exist for you. When you're a single mom, you don't get to operate in a certain way because you're carrying a different type of load. And that, I think, is the most frustrating slash heartbreaking thing because it's just like, damn, if I had the, a different level of support, the way that I could run, the way that I could carry it, and props for how you carry the load that you have but it's just like you sit there and you think like oh, how great could i have been had i had the certain level of support that i deserved during pregnancy during raising your children whatever that looks like it's just like i don't know sometimes i have that moment of reflection where i'm like wow not only did you like not show up you stole something from me who's gonna tell her that's what happens when you choose to be a single mom. Either you choose to have a kid from a bum or you choose to be a single mom. But it looks like you chose to lay up with a Tyrone who didn't even want to stick around for the birth, meaning you let him raw dog it for free. If no accountability was an actual person, you'd be it. Should have thought out the logistics before agreeing to be a raw dog booty call. Maybe prioritize loyal and hardworking over six foot two and a player vibe. Just a thought. Maybe demanding a man marry you before you practice having kids is the best way to prevent not being robbed of these mother experiences. In the video description, she writes, I know in my heart everything happens for a reason, but I also recognize I deserve better. Hashtag single mom. And there's a band-aid emoji. And this is the Disney delusion. This happened for a reason, as in to punish you for allowing yourself to be a one-night stand. There isn't an upside to this mistake. It's like falling off a cliff. You can only hope the drop-off isn't too steep and there are branches to soften the landing. No upside to falling off a cliff. More like, make sure you don't fall off in the first place. I'm a single mom, but trust me, most of my married friends are single moms too. That means all of them are 304s. Either they picked the Chad and Tyrones who are losers, and they thought having a kid from those players would change them, or they suckered the guys to marry them after they were used up by the top 10% men. Either way, it's not invalidating a traditional marriage. They just weren't qualified for it in the first place. Modern women and marriage is like mixing oil and water together. If you're an idiot, water and oil don't mix. Also, wanting to experience pregnancy and parenting the correct way with someone you love, but being fearful of becoming a single mom again. Translation, having a kid with a player or bad boy. These females tell on themselves. No need for a polygraph test, just check their comments on social media. I hope every single mama who reads this understands the importance of what you're doing. You're creating the world. I know it's hard, I know it's not fair, and I wish I could change that for you. No, you're creating the worst world out there. Over 90% of the criminals in prison are from single moms, aka deadbeat moms. The world was created by the nuclear family, not 304s and their bastard kids. Look at every successful society on every continent, and there's a nuclear family at its backbone. What is your craziest? Sorry. I had the baseball dugout in high school. Oh. Oh my God, what if they see this? <laughs> so what happened when you did that? Um, it was, so I it had like, we had like separate lunches. Um, I was dating this guy on the football team and he would just text me like on my lunch and he was like, hey, like, I'm gonna skip mine and I'm gonna go to yours and then meet me at the baseball dugout. So I went out there and no one was there and we just went at it. And then I got called in the office like two hours later, but it was for something completely different. But I was like, sh myself on the way there. I was like, there's no way they have cameras oh out God. there. I was like, at least let me have the footage. At least that. <laughs> but yeah. Wow. So I can't believe no one caught you though. No, That's no. That's pretty lucky. No one ever caught me. So if you see this, sorry, I guess. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Not sorry at all, actually. Cool. What's a good thing?
It was great. Awesome. Yeah. The thrill of being caught. Yeah, for sure. You can't even use 18 as the starting age when females lose their virginity anymore because they've been sleeping around for years before. It's not losing it at prom night anymore. These females even start as young as middle school, which means they stop developing and maturing. So you're dealing with someone who has been stunted since middle school. Basically, a middle schooler in an adult's body. And notice she did it at school. Her parents could have made sure she never went out at night or dated anyone, thinking they were saving their daughter, only for their daughter to do it at a public place. This is why school and college is HOE University. Where there's a 304 will, there's a way. Top comment says, her little bro seeing this. I think this thought actually makes videos of her younger brother. The girl that Mr. Beast made famous by mistake actually needs to be locked up. With everything that I'm doing, like I've never once wanted it to affect you like this. Bro, I'm sorry. So for those who don't know, this is Camilla. She was the one chosen to be the one to wear the number 067 specifically, and it's the same exact number the famous actress played in the original Squid Game show. Now Camilla has taken advantage of all the clout she's received from the Mr. Beast video, and shortly after started up her own YouTube channel and TikTok page. At first her videos were quite normal, but she soon decided to fast track everything by informing everyone that she started up an OF. To fast track her way to fame even faster, she decided to take her content to another level by forcing her brother Christian to help promote her OF by being in very odd TikTok and YouTube Shorts videos. Recently on the podcast, Christian revealed that people in his school have been picking on him for having a sister that does OF. He opened up on the recent episode saying that it's really affecting his mental state. Your actions don't just affect you, but it also affects me. You f and after saying this, he started crying and got very emotional. Sad, and I'm pretty sure he's underage too. All this so his sister can have DNA, dick and attention because she didn't want to work a real job because I guess she didn't want to be strong and independent. Feminism gave her the freedom to get almost any career out there, yet she chose to be a streetwalker. Maybe the kid getting picked on is a good thing and will toughen him up. At least he's not married to her, so he can cut her off eventually. Had the roles been reversed, and if it was some degenerate male who did X-rated films but involved his sister on his social media, he'd be arrested already, or at least banned off of social media. Let's see what the comments think. If that's a brother and a sis, imagine a mom and son. The mental on that? Damn. Already kids from OF performers are deleting themselves because of the shame. Hopefully this 304 doesn't have any kids. She didn't do anything. She just went on OF and got rich. That's a majority of OF performers. They just thirst trap, nothing productive. If a female looks good, all she has to do is just exist and simps will reward her. For the first time after a boy lies to me, I am not sad. I am mad. Very mad. Let's go to our rage room. I'm actually going with my mom to the rage room. I'm so mad that European guy played me. And he played his girlfriend. His girlfriend who he has been with for three years. Why do men get to do that? I... Why do they get to cheat on their girlfriend and then everything's okay? Allie, that's her name. His girlfriend. She's really hurt and I'm trying to be there for her. I don't know what he's telling her. Maybe he's making all these random lies about me. She hasn't broken up with him yet. Oh my gosh. I sort of feel like a bad person in a way. Should I add red in my eyes? I want to send her the song so bad. Tell her like, I made this because of your boyfriend. He doesn't deserve you. Love is BS. Let's go destroy some stuff. So blame the player from Europe, but not yourself for having low standards? Players can't play women if they demand marriage before intercourse. That's a simple fix. But you bedwenches want to find out after you got pounded out and then ghosted. And you know this guy is over six feet and has a square jaw because his girlfriend is still with him. Cheating, or the ability to cheat, says the man has value and is in high demand. Especially if his girlfriend is a modern woman. She gets the ultimate validation, that she was able to tame the player or at least lock him down for a commitment. And now, she will try even harder to make him happy now, because she knows she can be replaced. But this is nothing new. These 304s demand the most physically attractive men and are surprised they're not the only one entertaining these sought after men. Why are there so many single women out here that are struggling to find a man? Well, I'm gonna tell you the reason, but you're not gonna like the answer. Now, this may not apply to you, so don't take offense. 
But if you do, maybe you need to reflect why it makes you offended. Honestly, a lot of women treat men like trash. A lot of women take men for granted. A lot of women want men to take accountability for their actions and what they do. But boy, if you ask a woman to take accountability for her fault and her actions, it's straight to signing divorce papers. But my question is, why are women so resistant to taking accountability? Like really, what is the reason why you won't take accountability for your actions? I know for me personally, because I was this woman for many, many years, like most of my marriage, I realized it's because I thought I had to be perfect and that society judged me based on my level of perfection. And if I dare to take accountability for my faults and actions, then I would be even more demonized. But the reality is, me not taking accountability was making it worse. And I don't think a lot of women understand the fact that we are a lot of the problem. I'm not saying we're the whole problem, but at least on my platform, on this side of things, a lot of men are trying. They're putting in the effort. They're doing the things that they need to do. And women are taking their husbands for granted. They got married because they wanted to be married, not because they wanted to be a wife. So you single ladies struggling to find a man, most men are not even wanting to get married anymore because they've dealt with bad relationship after bad relationship of women taking them for granted and treating them like trash. And honestly, I can't blame them. If you put all the effort in for a year, didn't get anything back, you wouldn't tolerate that either. So why are we expecting men to just sit down, shut up and take it? You would advise every one of your girlfriends, girl, don't take that from him. But why should he take that from you? And honestly, I truly believe that lack of accountability is one of the number one reasons why marriages are failing. So we refuse to take ownership of the things that we need to take ownership for. But I can promise you, if you take accountability for your actions and work really hard to fix them, your marriage can look completely different. Cause y'all, that's where I'm sitting right now. The problem is you just gotta swallow your pride, do what it takes to make a change. Sadly, we're in the age of narcissism. And it doesn't help that, because of social media, these entitled 304s have access to simps all over the world. Until the laws change in the feminist West that stop divorce robberies or child support slavery, these females won't change, especially in marriage where they have the men by the balls. They can hold their kids hostage for ransom, literally, and the anti-family courts would still give them full custody to get as much money out of the father as possible. This is why a lot of deadbeat single moms are able to delete their kids because the courts are purposefully biased against men and give the kids to the women 90% of the time. And to be honest, it's too late for these 304s. You can't teach these female dogs new tricks. They're too set on being for the streets than actually being a supportive girlfriend or wife. Why try and fix something that has been used up and is broken when men can go easily overseas and get a real wife to be the mother of their kids? One of the top comments says, they aren't looking for a man, they're looking for money. Exactly. Don't be that sucker thinking you can change an HOE into a housewife. Yep, a good man would rather be alone than try anymore. Like I said, no point in trying to build something in the West when the anti-family court laws are still there. Just pump and dump or go full MGTOW. Another good comment. Pick a series, any series on television, and see how men, fathers, husbands are depicted. Disrespected, made to look silly, one example. The disrespect is ingrained into modern women, and it doesn't help that men have built the world they live in, to the point that they can get by without a man. It's easy to say they don't need a man when the roads are already built and the food is at the supermarket. They don't even need a job and the men's taxes pay for food stamps and welfare, which allows them to buy the food. So one thing about me, I cannot cook. I, I really, I'm really bad at it. So guess what we're gonna go do? You guessed it, we're gonna cook. We're gonna cook for my husband and his friend. Woo woo! Let's go. We got too many. We got, we got, we got chopped. We got finely chopped. We got diced. We got minced. That's the different. Is that the same as finely chopped? Dente is, is an actual thing. It says pick your tongue. Meat is this good on. Teaspoon. What? This just shows how useless modern women are. She could barely make something from a box. That's third grade level cooking. And she had to buy pre-cut onions as if actually cutting them was some mystical process. Also, that dude is being laughed at around the world for marrying such a low quality woman. In most countries, you're looked at as a weak man if you marry someone that useless. Top Common says, this was like watching a baby fawn try and stand on his legs for the first time. No, it's not. A baby has an excuse for not being able to stand because it was just birthed. She's been alive for at least 20 years and supposedly graduated high school, yet she still can't do a basic skill. She responded to the comment, good thing baby fawns are cute and fuzzy. You can't tell them anything. They think being incompetent is cute and funny. Just wait till she gets fat and hits the wall. Let's see how much her husband likes her then. This is me cooking for my husband, so I related so much. 
Thank you so much for this vid. This is modern women in a nutshell. What's the point of being in a relationship if these females can't do any girlfriend or wife duty? That's like buying a car for commuting to work that can't drive. In case if you can't read the small text, it says, No matter how much I pretend, this is how I truly feel all the time, and no one cares. Good. No one cares because they realize that you used crying as a manipulation tactic. It's like the boy who cried wolf too many times. But if you keep this up, all the shenanigans you as a certified 304 do, you won't have to pretend to cry because you'll actually do the real thing because you can't find someone to care. And you'll do that for 60 years until you're 6 feet under and some worm food. That's the MGTOW reality most of you ladies are going to face in the feminist west. Enjoy crying and being alone. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.